Okay, now I'm going to show you guys about a couple of our other features that this gauge has to offer. We have a center line feature and we have a delta feature and those two call out what you may assume the center line and the delta would be the difference, a calculation between the last two contacts. Something notable about the gauge is that the gauge always remembers the last two contacts that it makes and it will give you the difference between the two, the delta, or the center line between the two, the center line function. Um, the gauge also does default to giving you the difference as well. So we'll take a look at the demo piece and we'll show you how this works. If I come in, engage my probe, I'll zero off of my plate. I can take a standard height measurement. 472,000 step height, very basic, very generic. If I then go to the underside of this slot, 1.88 from the probe to the plate. That is our relative measurement. That is a measurement that is relative to our datum, our zero position, i.e. our reference, reference number one. We also show another value on the display, 1.416. This is our delta. The, like I said, the gauge defaults to the delta. It's defaulting to taking our current measurement, subtracting our previous measurement. It is calculating the slot width for us. If we release that contact, you'll notice our last measurement will always drop down on the display. This gives us a little bit of a history on the display. If you take a measurement and you wanted to record it, and you hadn't written it down or what have you, you hadn't sent the data, you always have at least that last value that, that you wanted on the display. But let's say you actually wanted that delta value, that 1.416 value that we were able to achieve. I could ask it to recall that value by hitting the delta key. If I hit the delta key, it recalls the difference between the last two measurements we took. Or if you want to know the center line between the last two measurements we took, we can hit the center line button and that'll give us the center line or of course we could just jump back to our last relative measurement so the gauge has a function where it will default to either giving us to both giving us our relative measurements and our incremental measurements if you remember the last measurement we took was the underside of this slot we'll take our probe and drive to the high side here engage our probe 2.36 is from our probe to our plate, our relative measurement. 473 thousandths is the thickness. That's going to be our incremental measurement, the difference between our current measurement and our previous measurement. So I could work my way down my part and get multiple measurements with taking a few less contacts. Again, if I drive up, 2.95 from our probe, from our probe to our plate. 590 thousandths is our slot width. So this is a great way to grab both relative measurements relative to your datum and incremental measurements, you know, those groove widths and those thicknesses that you need to capture along the way. Um, and again, if I release that contact, my last measurement drops down on the display, hit my delta function, will bring back my last incremental measurement, or say the center line measurement the center line of that groove relative to my plate.